I, I don't know how to explain the events that happened to me on Friday the 13th, during the full moon. I'm Andrew Burns. And I want to show you something that I can't explain. Something is standing in front of me. And I want you to try and tell me what happened. Um, it's moving. Everything is the original audio. It's only just been enhanced. <laughs> this is all what I captured with my camera phone. Oh my god, look at that thing! Look at that thing spike! It's off the charts! <laughs> Alright, let's do this. To Liverpool College. Here we use a spirit box, a device that scans through radio frequencies at a relatively fast pace. This is to allow spirits to talk through the white noise. Sounds like a train. Well, that, that actual jumping, that's the sound of the stations. As oh, okay. I, as I tick through, that's how fast it goes. I don't know what I want to go, but that goes for quite a few. Is there anyone here with us right now? For the interest of time, I'm going to be cutting out all the parts of our investigation where nothing happens. The Liverpool College used to be a hospital from 1810 to 1958, which first served the convicts and then the rest of the community. Were you a patient at the hospital? As you can hear here, there appears to be a heart rate monitor beep. I'm not sure if they actually had heart rate monitors that beeped back then, but that's what I hear. So during our second spirit box session, we asked them if they missed their family. We got a response saying that they don't have one. This could have been a convict from the late 1800s to the early 1900s, and we might have angered him by doing so, resulting in this next hostile EVP. Do you miss your family? Now this is the single greatest EVP I've ever heard. What the hell? Can you tell us your name? Yeah. How old are you? We then asked them if they were male. Is that right? They're male? Yes. Yeah. Was, it? Was this spirit saying that we should stop investigating? Can you tell us what you died from? After a while, with no more responses, we asked the spirit if it was still here with us. What was your occupation? What did you do when you were alive? Were we talking to one of the convicts that was sentenced here? Or do you want us to go? Unfortunately, it was time for us to go, and so we had to leave our new friend here. Yeah, um, there is. Oh my god, look at that thing! Look at that thing spike! It's off the chart! It's off the- When entering a new area, I always like to introduce myself as a courtesy. If there's anyone here, I'd like to welcome myself. I would like to offer my energy. The voices you can hear here are from the other guests, and this is nothing paranormal. You can, you can use the energy in my phone. I have two phones. Take as much as energy you need. If you can, try and make a sound. Try and make something in this room move. I will offer my own energy as sort of like a peace offering. Come over here with these beakers. Can you make one of these beakers move for me? Getting no response, I continue to wait as my phone picks up these two strange moaning sounds. However, due to the amount of people at this event, it's hard to confirm if this is actually paranormal or something completely explainable. We're trying to disprove the existence of the paranormal for this sort of location that we go to um, the hospital. There's not a pane of glass in the place, but you can actually sit in the point and watch a door physically open and close. Yeah, it's straight away they jump onto the ghosts, but it's something not normal. Do you hear something? Hey, don't shut up. Right here, my phone captures this unexplained voice, of which I believe it to be saying... Doesn't much, I'm just sort of flipping on the floor. 
Yeah, what are you talking about? You don't exist. Do something else. Getting no further activity, we waited until another guest arrived with an EMF detector, a device that detects electric and magnetic fields, something spirits said to give off. I then asked him to place it in the middle of the room, and immediately after doing so, we received a spike on the device indicating the possible presence of a spirit. Put that in, in the middle of the room. We might be intimidating someone in here. Yeah, um, there it is. Just put it on the table. Hit the spike? Yeah, about four times. While well, nothing paranormal, I just wanted to show this picture of a camel pack illuminating into what appears to be a face. A creepy setup for my solo adventure into the dungeon where this photo was taken. It was now time for me to go alone. Wish me luck. Hey, wish me luck. Okay, I'm down here by myself. Uh, yeah, that spiked. Um, I want to see this thing spike. I want to document it spiking. Yeah. Um, if you're with me here, if you're here with me now, can you walk into this thing I'm holding in my hand? Did you die here? Whoa. That was the room I was in before. That was, it's spiking. Are you in here? There is something in here. This is where I felt the cold spot before on my left hand. Yep, there it is right there. The thing is not spiking, the EMF is not spiking right now. If you can make the needle jump up for me, you can use my energy. You can use my energy if you want. I, I come with no disrespect, I just want to say hi. I'm gonna go over to the morgue. Apparently they see apparitions. Oh my God, I, I felt that, yes. Yes, where are you? Where are you? You're here. I had to walk back. Uh, it took me a while to see that. Um, in here? No, nothing. Oh, yes. Oh my god, look at that thing. Look at that thing spike. It's off the charts. It's off the... Oh! Okay, so what really freaked me out here was the fact that the EMF detector was going crazy, but I also saw this ball of energy float into my screen. Now what debunks this as not being dust is that as you can see, dust will come in spores and appear semi-translucent. It will also move in screen space, which means it changes direction with the camera. However, this completely changes direction all by itself, as if acting on an unseen force that goes straight into the EMF detector, just like I had asked for. Oh my god, look at that thing! Look at that thing spike! It's off the charts! It's off the- oh! Are you here with me right now? Yes! Can you say something? Coming up here, my audio jitters. Spirits are said to be able to interfere with electrical devices. You're gone. That's it. Thank you so much. That was an amazing piece of evidence right there. There's a lot of dust in here. Very musky feeling. But that was amazing. Um, oh, wow. Oh, here you are. Are you moving? Are you sussing me out? You want me to go? The yeah, only reason that's going to be is because there's now problems. Is there anyone else here who would like to say hi? Yes. Yes, I got a spike right here and it's feeling pretty cold. I'm going to back them to where it's cold. Um, oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Um, you want me to stay? Now uh, make the thing flicker if you want me to stay. Do you want me to go? Do you want me to go? No? Oh, here you are. Are you moving? Are you sussing me out? That was intense. Yep. God, that is intense. The last part of the night was a 20 minute EVP session with a small group in the dungeon where I may have stirred up some unwanted trouble. Not hearing anything relevant on our spirit box at the time, we thought that no one wanted to talk to us, but what I found later after analysing the recording gave me goosebumps like nothing else. <laughs> You can clearly hear a group of people saying that they wanted us to leave and that we were not welcome down there. What backs this evidence up is that I noticed my camera froze for a short period. There is no reason for this to happen, as this was a new phone with only a Torch app installed. 
and a couple of hours of recording stored on it. Listen carefully to the audio as it jitters. Further on into the session with the help of enhanced audio, you can hear a creepy voice saying, breathe. Oh, I went up by point two. However, due to the amount of audio contamination from the other guests, these remain controversial. <laughs> Man, what a great time I just had. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone at the APPI for um, hosting this. Thanks for taking the time out to uh, host this event for us. We, I'm sure I speak for everyone when I say we, had, we all had a great time. Thanks again, guys. And they all do it voluntarily as well, which is pretty sweet. Go out and hunt some ghosts, find something that you can't explain. It's awesome.